finding a neutral pelvis today uh, and why that might be difficult for us and also why it's fairly important. Um, biggest reason when you were talking about finding a neutral pelvis is we spend so much time sitting, which tends to be, you know, causing a lot of ailments in our body. But the way our, our uh, chairs are designed, even the way like things like our shoes are designed, puts our pelvis even into sort of, um, I, hesitate, I hesitate to say unnatural because it's not an unnatural position, but it's just that it puts it into a position that it shouldn't be stuck in all the time. So it's this, you know, very often sitting in chairs, couches, in our cars and our buses and our transportation, our subways and all sorts of things, we tend to kind of lean back and especially with little bucket seats in cars, our whole pelvis tilts back. And so this puts us into what they call a posterior tilt of the pelvis. And what that does is, um, shortens the backs of the legs, makes your hamstrings, calf muscles even tighter, shorter. It um, puts some load in, and um, it puts some strain onto the lower back. So this can be a cause of a lot of lower back issues. So what we'd like to find is then like, so what do you do about that? And the easiest way, I mean, if this is all you did today, um, we want to find neutral pelvis by coming off the back of your chair, scoot forward if you are in a chair, and try to come pretty close to the edge. You can actually use, if you have a hard edge of the chair, it, it's actually pretty helpful because you can feel it hit those uh, sit bones or the ischial tuberosities. And you can, if you allow your pelvis to start to tilt a little bit forward, you'll find more of a, what we're looking for is to regain the neutral lumbar curve. You know, there should be a little bit of a sway in your lower back, which starts from pretty much, pretty close down to the butt. And it doesn't start from way up here in the rib cage. This is how, often how people um, uh, kind of, they create a, a, the, the seeming sway in the lower back, but that's actually a little bit of shear in the spine. With the ribs neutral, the lower the sway in the back comes from way down here, down in the pelvis. And anyway, if you are playing with this right now, you might actually find that that's a little bit difficult to get to. And it's kind of difficult to discern or figure out like, well, how's far, how much is far enough? So first what I would do for everybody, if you're sitting in a chair, is just hold onto your knees. And this is gonna be um, an exercise that we call the click clack exercise. And it is simply learning how to tilt the pelvis forward and back and forward and back. Simple, simple there. Now notice a couple parameters to play with. You can um, fudge this motion by pulling your chest forward and back, but that's a very different motion than tilting from the pelvis. You might not actually be tilting the pelvis. I could do this without moving my, my hips and my pelvis at all. So keep your ribs or in your chest down. And a great way to play with this to start is just to hold onto the shins or hold onto the knees, lean back and really round as far as you can. So I'm letting my ribs and, and chest drop and hang down. And now without bending the elbows, try to keep the arms really straight, keep that chest down, try to tilt the pelvis forward without lifting the chest up. See the difference? So I'm just gonna rock forward and back forward and back. 